I just prefer running the Edios Pro 3, but was I getting the same response? I Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay and welcome to Winchfield. Now I've got the two most expensive running shoes on the market from the two biggest brands, the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 3 up against the Alpha Fly 2. And I was about to do a wax lyrical about both shoes and it's absolutely tipping it down. And I hate wearing hats, but even though I've decided to put my hat on. So if you wanted to send me a free hat, don't bother because I hate wearing them. But anyway, I thought, well, being an authentic channel, I thought we'd better get on with this running i thought well rather than just stop and talk about the shoes i'll actually go out and do a run i've got five mile reps on on the docket today at sort of sub threshold pace so about sort of a seven minute mile 650 miles something like that so as well as seeing which shoes i prefer out of the adios pro 3 and the Alpha fly 2 i'll be able to tell you how they feel on a completely wet road because <laughs> it's absolutely tipping it down but i have identified a mile circuit so i'm going to do a little warm-up although i feel like it's sort of like uh you might skip the warm-up and just get straight into it but anyway what i'm going to do is just see how they feel on foot i've already been to a run, one run in each of these shoes i did eight miles in the adios pro 3 last night and i did a session of 10 by 3 minutes where i did that very short video the other day on the alpha light 2 so both shoes i would say from first impressions aren't going to win over for me from the vaporfly next percent as my favorite but they are certainly the, the two sort of top shoes from each company and really want to see whether these are any good and the biggest news for me is that adidas have finally offered a uk 13 and a half in their top shoes and also 14 and a half which is the same size as a uk 13 and nike their adidas sizes and the uk sizes are half a size up so they're both a us 14 or a 32 centimeter shoe right i think i'm gonna stop waffling and get on with this run aren't i okay thankfully the rain has sort of stopped so i've managed to take my hat off i got the adios pro 3s in for the warm-up i did quite a fast ish 7 30 just sort of warming up so they do feel nice they seem to have lowered the drop to a six and a half mil drop from the two which basically means there's more light strike pro under your toes which for me is quite welcome because all my wearing shoes is under the toes so i always feel in some shoes that i just want a bit more under my toes so yeah tick the box there and they are lighter than the alpha fly 2 but some way i put the weights up there in my size quite a considerable advantage to the adidas although it's still quite somewhat heavier than the next percent right so what i'm going to do is five miles i think i'll do the first three in the adidas ones and then quick changeover to the alpha fly well quick changeover is a bit of a mute point because they are quite hard to get on but We'll see how we go. Okay, we'll walk done and it's actually stopped raining or I think it might start again. So I'll get this session going while I've got a good chance. So the Adios Pro 3, I think I'm going to have to do another video where I talk in more detail about the shoe itself. But a couple of observations so far that I think that it's probably about half a size effectively less than the two. Just feels like this one, although it's the right length, it's not quite as long relatively as the two was in a size down, if that makes any sense. So whereas the Adios 6 and was effectively half a size less than the Adios Pro 2. I've got the Adios 7 as well, and that's basically the same. If they haven't really changed the sizing there, I measure the insoles and it's gone up by a centimeter for an extra size. Whereas this one, the Adios Pro 3, does feel slightly less. Although now I've got it on foot, it's not too bad. And what I have noticed, it's quite difficult to get a lockdown. I've already pulled them in quite a lot twice. Even during that two and a half mile warm up I've just done, they've come loose a bit again. So I'm gonna have to basically tighten them up a bit more. Adidas shoes are obviously very, very narrow relatively. I think they're the narrow of all the brands which is why i like them because i've got very narrow feet but these ones aren't narrow narrow i don't think i would say um just a bit of a bugger to get on the laces are just sort of like the standard ones you get out of the shop if you had to go and buy a replacement from the old woolies if people remember that back in the day in the uk so yeah they perhaps lacking a bit there they don't have sort of like sophistication of the nike ones with sort of the ridges or anything they're literally just sort of like some stock laces nobody don't really care about laces but it does sometimes make it a bit difficult to lace, lace them up because they're a bit harder to sort of like pull in and because they're not sort of like a modern material they're sort of like a cottony thing they perhaps do stretch a bit so already after just two runs i'm having to pull them in so let's just do that and also stride fans in they're actually covered up where you'd normally put your stride so that's one issue so you can see what i mean just sort of standard regular sort of cotton laces so i'm really needing to pull these in quite a lot again so then i'm getting a bit of folding but they always get that in shoes anyway so that's not really a any great sort of concern for me 
and uh, yeah initially I thought these were like quite narrow but now I've pulled them in and I've really got them quite snug here but don't forget I've got very narrow feet for this uh, length okay so that feels better already I haven't got much sort of space down the sides here and I have now it's not quite a full thumb width but it's quite the quite comes up at the end there if you see that the actual the shoe kind of comes right up above the ground so I think normally if they were flatter then your foot would perhaps sort of elongate a bit more just feels like um, you know ideally I might want a centimeter two or more there but I didn't really feel it when I was running so it's probably fine and I won't complain I don't think I think the 14 and a half will be too much Okay, so we're ready to roll. Hope we're allowed to do the same with the Alpha Fly 2 as well, because they probably feel a bit better for lockdown. The Alpha Fly 1 was very, very wide for me once I got the thing on. Very hard to get on, but once you have, that actually sort of felt quite wide. With the Alpha Fly 2, you're not quite as wide as on foot, but very difficult to get on again. And just really does feel like you've got moon boots on. These feel although quite high stat they feel actually much more natural perhaps because of the fact i can get those really quite narrow now that i've laced them in three times now right so let's get on with the run and see how we go so here we are outside the barley mo pub now bizarrely my wife sue should be appearing at some point soon she's going to gone to a 60th birthday party of her friend and they're arriving by boat would you believe on the canal so with a bit of luck i won't miss her especially doing these mile loops here now if you look at the ground here there's a bit of flooding there just on the on the edge of that road so the surface is going to be a bit slippery i think but it's sort of like now quite nice it's the sun's come out the wind's dropped so uh, yeah quite conditions for running so no excuses okay first one done bang on the pace i wanted that actually felt really nice actually really welcome it's just extra length in the adios pro 3 of the uk 13 and a half the 12 and a half in the pro 2 was just a bit too small felt like i was sort of tully off in the wrong place and uh, yeah good but just feel like I wanted a bit more length, so finally I just uh, delivered. Yeah, so the uh, cornering take a bit carefully, it was a bit wet bends, but no real problem. Right, on to the second rep. So here's an example view on the course. Nice little quiet lane. Yeah, so it's a bit damp underfoot, but now the sun's out and it's summer, I think it'll be drying off. Just need to be slightly cautious on the corners. This is a bit slippery. Okay, second one done. Actually, went that a bit harder, that one. I think I'm, subconsciously I just felt a bit better, so maybe better warmed up, maybe liking the shoes. Yeah, I kind of like them in a way, sort of feel so far. I kind of feel like I like them more than the Alpha Fly 2, but will I actually be running faster in them? Will I have less heart rate? That is the acid test because someone said the other day, well, the next percent, you kind of feel like you prefer running in them, but does the Alpha Fly actually make you go faster? Ultimately, in a race, comfort is secondary. If you go out for a long Sunday afternoon, easy run then yeah comfort's important but if you're in a race as long as you're gonna get huge blisters or whatever you want to see what works best for you right third one in the adios pro threes and i'll be off to change in the alpha flies okay the alpha fly two's on instantly you kind of feel that there's more shoe on your foot and i think because i've now had a rest it took about three minutes to actually change them plus a minute to walk by the car just do a little stride up the road to get my heart rate back up to roughly where it was otherwise you'll see like a really lot like lot lower heart rate on this first one artificially if you know what i mean so i'll do that and then we'll get going on this one okay alpha fly rep done that's four, four out of the five reps done that did feel noticeably harder just more shoe wider on the foot for me if i was locked down as well be able to put in the laces more but it's quite difficult in these sort of fly net type uppers to get a good lockdown because they kind of like slippers they kind of as they are so you can put in the laces and help a bit but then you feel like you're sort of like putting them in so much that they're not really designed for it right let's go on this last one then but yeah it could be all in the feel i just prefer running the edios pro 3 but was i getting the same response okay i'm gonna be tired now because it's my fourth rep and then i'm doing these a lot harder than I was initially intending it's more like 6.30 pace and under than just under 7 pace, so that's good. I've recovered from COVID, so I'm still feeling a bit dodgy, but this is a good sign at least. All right, let's get on this last one then. Okay, session done. Second run on the Alpha Fly 2, so I don't feel any easier than the first one. I felt like I was trying the hardest of all the reps on that last one, and yeah, I think my time was identical. So yeah, the fact that um, going faster than perhaps I should be, I was doing some threshold of that was certainly more like threshold if not a bit quicker 
but yeah sometimes it's quite a nice to uh feel that you can get through a session okay plus you've had a long time off without doing much racing of any good degree i was good in january with a 37 minute 10k but i wasn't even half that speed in the last 5k and i've had covid since so yeah not gonna be racing again until july although july is very soon so yeah need to go and look at the data but based on feel definitely a win towards the adios pro 3 and i think more than just a win for the fact that they've actually done my size i thought just to, i mean the both shoes are exactly the right length for me i think the alpha just suffer from being too wide i think the problem is, is that i'm just not really a, a typical uk 13 so when they obviously make shoes wider as they get bigger that's um great for the sort of the average person like andy fod runner has got a lot wider feet than me and seems to appreciate the alpha flies well i just find them sort of heavy and clumpy and yeah i mean that was just two mile reps and thought of doing a marathon in a shoe like that i think well uh, it's kind of ridiculous i've got like endorphin speeds and the new adios sevens like cheap sort of a uh, cheaper everyday type sort of traditional sort of almost lightweight trainers really in comparison and yet you kind of feel like i'd rather wear them just for the fact that they're lighter there was a little drag at the end of that circuit and it was fine on the corners in the wet i just sort of knew the lines by then and as i said if you know the lines and don't take risks like running over a, a drain with a sort of slippery surface and you know if you're running down a straight road with a puddle then there's a lot of ice underneath it you're very unlikely to fall over you might get your shoes wet but that's uh, that's another matter so yeah i do think that sometimes the outsole is overrated but maybe that's because i got big feet i've got more actually surface area to land on haven't i so there's that factor as well if you're a size seven like seth james Damore, or whatever he is you effectively you've got about four or five centimeters less on your foot and a lot less sort of um width as well so you know i've got narrow feet i'm sure i've got wider feet than his size seven but yeah so probably effectively i've got like maybe 50 percent more surface contact so maybe that's why i'm not so worried about it anyway good session i'll do another lap for warm down and we'll go inside and have a look at the data and see if i can confirm my sort of opinion based on feel that i prefer the ideals pro 3 but is it going to be faster maybe you need a bit of a longer test because obviously mile reps only indicate how you can do a mile reps and it's very difficult to gauge the pace exactly and obviously as you're getting more tired as you go through it and the alpha light too don't lend themselves to keep changing shoes i mean i i kind of didn't do quite the session i was meant to by changing it but i did do that extra uh, sort of little rep for about a quarter of a mile up and down the road to get the heart rate back up to sort of simulate how it would have been after uh, a mile then a minute's rest okay right see you indoors then okay so i'm just checking where sue is and she seems to be on the river approaching me i'm at the barley mow there at the top of the screen or oh, I'm probably that blue dot. So I think I've just about got time over to do a mile little warm down. I'll take my phone with me in case she appears. But basically she's gonna appear from over there that gap, I think. So if I do a mile, I might have to see them coming. Anyway, let's get this mile warm down done. Tongue twister. Ah, so I just realized that the, that car park I was in shuts at eight o'clock and it's now 20 to eight. So if the guy comes early and locks me in, you think I'm gonna be popular with Sue and we're about 50 miles from home. So no, I thought, well, yeah it's been a bit of a tough week with uh, all these shoes coming in so i'm meant to be on best behavior so i don't think it locked into a car park and not be able to take her home will be actually top of the agenda will it right so off for the warm down from here outside the pub <laughs> ah see what you mean still open but there's no other cars in there so i think they're probably wise to it because shuts at eight o'clock which is pretty much eight o'clock now so yeah glad we got out of here now then i might find sue actually on the river maybe oh i think this is them <laughs> uh, collection of Sue's friends off the boat. This is going to be interesting. Hello. 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 <laughs> I was tracking your progress on the river. <laughs> Where's Sue? Bring up the rear, no doubt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You okay? Not too bad. Just, uh, <laughs> well, I realised I was parked in here and they shut at eight, so I didn't get locked in. I didn't think that would go down well. <laughs> oh, no. the tip of you found the pub. Yeah, it's opposite. You're trying out oh, some okay. new size yeah. 13s. Um, yes, yes, <laughs> definitely, yeah, yeah. They're like boats. This boats. is another Tim. Like oh, here's Sue. How many have you had? Oh, just the one. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> yeah, right, believe that then, don't it? Right. <laughs> All right, so we put all the runs into the customary spreadsheet. And so here we are, just reminded what I did. So I had three runs in the Adios Pro 3. It was notionally a mile. The actual circuit was just short of a mile, more or less 1,500 meters, just 0.91 of a mile. I actually created a segment starting it just a bit into the actual 
thing here so it's like a basically a loop it was gradually sort of downhill although they look pretty flat when you're actually running to this turn here a bit up and down on that top section and then slightly uphill and slightly into the wind to finish but predominantly a flat course i think i would say so it was a good test for the sort of mile reps so i was intending to have 60 seconds rest but by the time i talked to the camera and that it turned out to be more like 90 seconds and then when i changed shoes into the last two in the alpha fly i did this sort of like two minutes sort of not the same sort of effort just to get my heart rate back up again so i think it's interesting this the first rep i was taking it a bit cautiously i think i said i was going to do about seven minute pace 650 and actually did 646 and then the second one I found myself just going naturally a lot faster so then that turned out to be almost 630 pace and then I thought well I might as well carry on at that sort of effort so the second and the third ones there 559 555 and then the heart rate obviously on the first one was quite low because it wasn't quite as fast and then so I think the two interesting ones here uh, 138 139 average heart rate with a max of 145 146 and as I said I think I quite enjoyed running the Adios Pro 3 I think once I've tightened them up and it was quite a nice lockdown There's definitely a bit more to it than some of them but it was quite a nice shoe that it felt like there was a lot under your feet and it was quite nice sort of towing off I'm not sure that it was really sort of like an out and out sprinting shoe but for that sort of effort it felt really good and then into the Alpha Fly. Immediately, the Alpha Fly, I'm just struggling a bit with the Alpha Fly. Just so much shoe, I think. They're a bit heavier. The Alpha Fly is 325 grams, and the Adios Pros are about 285. So it's quite a significant difference in my size. And although they've got the times kind of similar, you can see the heart rate there was significantly higher. I mean, you might argue that obviously that the heart rate was higher because at the end, but. I think in terms of like these sort of tests are not obviously the most scientific because it's just me but you know I want to sort of see on feel as what the numbers are saying and definitely also on feel it just felt harder and as you can see there the average heart rates there are about three beats higher and then the maximum was a bit higher as well so yeah definitely I thought that was harder work in the alpha fly and uh, looking at some of the running dynamics the interesting one here is VO where it was actually higher in the outflow which kind of makes sense because you think it's more like bouncing them although the idea of pro stack is pretty high the outflow also feels like there's like more of it even though it probably isn't but i think just because of the airbag there and and the zoom x it just feels like you you've got more under your foot even though you perhaps you haven't so yeah interestingly that the vo was higher the other metrics were the same more or less maybe you could argue that the cadence was just slightly less Although, yeah, we're really sort of arguing small pieces there. It was 182 in the fourth rep and 183, which is exactly the same as the two Adios Pro ones. So, yeah, I, th I thought when I did the three-minute reps the other day that my cadence was a bit lower than it might be for that sort of effort. But looking at this, maybe that was just a red herring. But, yeah, still fairly low. All the other metrics are sort of fairly similar, I guess. Perhaps the ground contact time balance, I was a bit over to the left, but then maybe I was getting a bit tired, losing a bit of form. I've always tended to be a bit over to the left of late, but I think 51% is not too much to worry about. I think when it starts getting to 53, 54, it's more concerning. So if it was at the end and I'm getting tired, then I'm not really that bothered. And then it's interesting the power here. This is Garmin power, and it kind of makes sense that when I went a bit faster on the second and third ones, it was a bit higher. But interestingly, the, although the times were similar on the Alpha Fly, the power's gone up slightly. Maybe that's because I've got more VO. I don't know. Just sort of generating more power, but not necessarily more speed. So that's interesting. And then the temperature was, it was only 15 degrees, but it was pleasantly sort of uh, a, a nice sort of summer's evening. I've known it hotter, but uh, yeah, for that sort of effort, it was quite a nice sort of temperature, really. So yeah, I, mean, I think I'd have to say here, based on this, that um, the Adios Pro 3 takes it for me. I uh, obviously need to do more testing other than just mile reps, maybe do some longer runs in, and maybe some faster stuff just to have a different variation. But um, yeah, so I hope you found this interesting. I've also got the Adios 7 in and the Invincible 2, so I've got to do some videos on them as well. But lots of new shoes and I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to bother getting the Endorphin Pro 3 and the Endorphin Speed 3. I think I will want to get them, but I think at the moment I've just got so many new shoes that I want to give these a bit more of an effort. So I hope you found this interesting as ever. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one then. Bye.